Welcome back to Own Coffee. My guest is Dr. Antonio Mora, medical oncologist from Italy. Uh, Antonio, thank you for accepting my invitation and being my guest on Own Coffee. It's my pleasure. Cheers. My first question is, what role does coffee have in your life? Well, first of all, thanks so much for the kind invitation. It's a real pleasure to meet with you today. So I think that coffee is my, as if, a source of energy for the day. I drink at least two or three coffee over the morning to be active and be able to work in the air. By the way, guys, your favorite coffee is espresso? Yeah, of course. I'm Italian, and for me, the only coffee is espresso. Because today I got three in other Italians. All of them said, like, their favorite coffee is espresso, and there is no other choice. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's quite obvious. <laughs> uh, so, uh, I can see there are lots of... Uh, Uh, things on your badge uh, it means that you are an important person as ESMA <laughs> so I want to ask uh, what have you done in your life to uh, achieve at some point where from ESMA they're inviting you to be a chair or I don't know speaker uh, in different sessions I mean I would say that uh, it's not a kind of importance but it's kind of be very busy I mean i had the privilege to be involved in ESMO since I was a fellow, so I uh, attended uh, many of the young oncology sessions that I think it's more important. Then in that occasion, I had the opportunity to meet with uh, excellent colleagues and mentors that then helped me to, I'd say, improve my skills and uh, acquire the networking and, and so on. So, and in this moment, I've involved in different activity of DASMO, that for me it's a privilege to serve the community and the society. I'm involved in the precision, uh, precision oncology task force and also in the drug development track for ESMO 2025. And I'm very happy with that because working for me that I'm I still young, I'm happy that I can work with key opinion leaders and learn along lot to further advance the field in the next future. That's great. Uh, that's uh, so inspiring. <laughs> so my another question would be, uh, on your opinion, what are the most important insights on breast cancer treatment from this year's uh, as well so far? Well, I think that for uh, breast cancer, uh, it was a very impactful asthma because uh, practice changing trials were presented Uh, during the Congress, uh, I'd say that yesterday in the presentation session, we had the results of two very important study in the HER2 positive, uh, in the HER2 positive field and especially in the new ad one post new adia setting. Uh, the DBO5 studies demonstrate that TDXT is better than uh, TDM1 in improving uh, invasive disease free survival for fissure with residual disease after new ad one therapy. And they say that this study will be practice changing across the world. We also had results from the Destiny Breast 11 uh, that showed TDXDS, new ad one treatment. Uh, and uh, the study showed that we can improve the pathological uh, complete response rates. Uh, and I think that this will be impactful, impactful as well. And uh, today, for instance, we had the results of two important starting with antibody drug conjugates mm -hmm. targeting TROP2 in the first line setting of metastatic triple negative breast cancer. Both studies show that there is an improvement in progression free survival compared to uh, chemotherapy. And uh, in, the ne in the near future, we will have the opportunity to use these agents uh, in the first line setting and improve uh, the outcome for our patients. That's great. And if you want to learn more about these trials, you can check OncoDaily website. And my last question would be, uh, as, I, uh, as uh, our, uh, most of our listeners are young oncologists and students, uh, what advice would you give to them? Mm -hmm. Especially for students and uh, fellows, I think it is important to be involved in ESMO i think that uh, all uh, fellows or students that will aspire to become oncologists uh, have to be ESMO members because ESMO offers a lot of resources in terms of uh, um, material for studying, uh, uh, material from the conferences, uh, and also high-level mentorship for some selected programs. So for each young 
um, student uh, and fellow that aspire to become oncologists or uh, do translational research, that it's very important to be active in ESMO and ESMO also offer opportunities to create networking. Uh, so please, uh, if you are not a member, join ESMO. Join. Thank you so much, Antonio, uh, for accepting my invitation and being my guest. It was really inspirational and interesting talking with you. Uh, and I wish you success in your future projects and life. And thank you for watching us. Uh, and don't forget to keep the coffee brewing. Bye-bye. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onka Daily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.